most of these girls, like I said, they're broken. It's not hard. You just gotta answer their call. You get in there, you find the crack. They just want anyone to love them. It's the illusion. Be there for them. Tell them what they want to hear. Every girl's had that fantasy wedding in that house with a pink fence. They sell it to her. I'm going to be making money. I'll be there to take care of you. At the end of the night, you're home with me. She'll do it. Why would she do it? You just sold her a dream. You burned me. You burned me one time. With what? This fucking cigarette. You choked me. I freaking passed right out. You choked me like Bart Simpson. I think it is like an out-of-body experience. Like you just block yourself off, like you're numb, you can't think, you can't hear nothing. And then when it's done, it's done. Like just do it as fast as you can and kick them out. Before this happened, I was just an ordinary girl, just graduated high school. I was just looking for love and attention and I just wanted to feel like I fit in because everyone wants to feel like they fit in. I became friends with a girl that I was working with at a bar. She just introduced me to the world. So it was easy to feel like I wasn't being used even though I knew something was wrong. From that point, I just felt um, trapped in her control. There were two men I actually had promised that I wouldn't have to do anything I didn't want to do. It made me feel special, loved, cared for, important. You're trained like a robot from, from these guys. All you know is work, money, eat, sleep. Work, money, eat, sleep. You have to be where they say, you have to listen to them like you're their slave. They were in control of everything what I wore, what I ate, when I slept and how long I slept for, when I showered, when I went to bed, when I woke up, what I ate, when I ate, how much money I could keep on me, nail color, everything. Sometimes I just work all around the clock. I wouldn't sleep. If you try to run, they'll, they'll come after you and do stuff, like come to your family. And that's all you know, like you're so scared, you get PTSD and you just can't get out of it. I was seeing people day and night. I'd get drunk, I'd get high, because I don't want to think about it, and it was, just made it easier. Even though I physically could have left, I, I honestly felt like they had a hold on me from the inside, from my mind. I told myself that this was it, and I just have to accept it, that I'm never going to have a normal life. They had completely controlled my state of mind, um, which in turn controlled whether I stayed or went, which there was no option. He made me like compete with other girls and so I'd get jealous and I'd be like, I'm gonna make more money than her so he hangs around with me more. I was in love with him and I have his name on my, on my body. So it's like you're their property, you can't run away. I feel like I was afraid of the shame, the judgments, because a lot of people think that I could have just walked away and so I feel like people just think that I was there because I wanted to. They would say things to make me feel good about myself and then they would say things to really belittle me and make me feel like I was just damaged goods. Um, I, there was no choice even though there was a choice. I feel like I see the world differently. 
I looked at people through rose-colored glasses before, and now I see it has changed me. I do not trust men. I don't think I ever will trust a man.